I didn't believe that cashews grow at the bottom of a fruit, and that fruit tastes and smells like gasoline because they're actually poisonous. Plus, I've always wanted to grow my own cashews, so I got the fruit that cashews come from. I picked one to eat and one to grow. Oh my god, it's ready and ripe! I searched for this tree for two years, and I couldn't believe I actually found the cashew tree. But when I did, this is a cashew tree, I near well sprinted to the tree and searched far and wide on that tree for some fruit. Look, look, can you see the cashew fruit up there? It's like a pear at the bottom is where the cashew lives. I found one fruit at the very top of the tree. I'm in heaven. I knew I couldn't reach it. I wish this had cashew fruit. Should I climb the tree and get it? Or maybe we will see another one and we'll get lucky. I was so sad, but I was determined as heckin' to grow a cashew and taste the fruit. I will literally climb the tree. So the next day, I went back to see if I could get lucky, and what do you know? There was one low-hanging cashew fruit that I could just about reach. I'm 5'1", okay, very short. Oh my god, it's ready and ripe! But I near well sprinted and got to work. Holy Dream come gosh. true. Let's go. Picked the cashew fruit and made sure that I knew I was gonna cut open the fruit to taste it and then grow the seed at the bottom. Yeah. A dream come true. Well, wow. If you've never seen one, wow. This is a cashew apple. At the bottom lives a hard curved shell that we dry, roast, and peel to get cashews. The cashews are covered in a poisonous liquid that's also found in poison ivy, so you can't consume it before roasting it, but the catch is that you can eat the fruit. Some people make juice, jam, and alcohol with the fruit, and even the jungle monkeys went absolutely ballistic for this cashew fruit. They came all the way down from the tree. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. She's holding a baby. He's coming. Here's the tamarind. Give her this. He wants the cashew. He searches long and far for He wants that. You didn't jump on me to get it, what? He's following you. What? Don't give him no, that. No, no, he doesn't want that. He's like, hey. Listen, I don't like feeding wild animals, okay? And we needed this cashew fruit to grow it and to taste it. Don't worry, though. They get fed very well, and they all have children, and they procreate, and they're happy. Anywho, back to my YouTube university about cashew fruit. The fruit, it's got a tangy flavor that numbs out your tongue. It's also got a chewy texture, and to me, it tastes like a mixture of orange and mango juice. It's actually one of the most unique fruits I've ever tried, and I would juice 10 of them if I could and just chug it. But the poisonous cashew at the bottom of this fruit is what gets turned into what we know as nuts. So technically, cashews are actually seeds and not nuts, even though we all know and love cashews to be delicious nuts. So in order to grow the cashew seed, we'll have to remove the outer shell off of that cashew to remove reveal the inner seed, but the problem is that breaking open the hard shell of a cashew seed manually with my hands without getting the poisonous resin on my skin requires a lot of caution and proper handling techniques. So to do it safely, gloves are essential and a tool like a nutcracker is needed, but it'll be hard not to crush the shell too forcefully to not only release more poison, but crack the seed entirely. And after we break it open, we have to dispose of the shells properly to prevent accidental contact with that poisonous resin. And for cashew seeds to even germinate successfully, they have to be as fresh as possible because stored seeds do not germinate well. And the inner seed can't be cracked. And then once they do grow after this process, if they do, the tree actually takes several years to mature and produce fruit. So growing them from seeds requires a lot of patience, but if you're at all familiar with this channel, we have a lot of patience. It's all trial and <coughs> Okay, anywho, you're also probably worrying about my safety, at least. It smells like a fart. I am, because I don't want to get the poison on my hands and have to go to the hospital. Anywho, so I called up my farmer friend down in Indonesia who has a cashew tree, and I asked, if I could grow the cashew without breaking open the outer shell first. You know, a double whammy. You don't know until you ask, but ask for forgiveness, not permission. Anywho, you'll never guess what I was told. They told me it's possible and that I shouldn't open it, and it's actually easier that way. They do it all the time. So I got to work following their instructions. I got a pot, filled it with some soil, added a bit of sand to the bottom as well, and then made a little hole right in the middle of that soil and placed the seeds sideways 
grass right down in the soil. Then I covered it up with more mama soil. And listen, it's summer here now in Canada, so it's definitely gonna have a good shot at growing. We just need to wait about five to 10 days for germination to happen, which is not a long time at all. So I'll post an update on the cashews in about five days. But just so you know, the reason that it took me so long to find a cashew fruit is because you can't find them in the grocery stores outside of Central and South America due to the fruit spoiling quickly during the long distance transport. So cashew seeds are in fact a cherished treasure. While we wait for this to grow, you probably are are wondering what the fruit tasted like. Well, I've never tasted a fruit like this before. It was ripe, it was ready to go, and I was, quite frankly, very excited. This is the best day of my life, and this is ripe. See, it's soft to the touch. Probably the most excited I've ever been in my life. I know I say that all the time, but just hear me out, okay? I walked around with this thing for two days. I'm here with my cashew fruit. I didn't want to die. I had to do my research first to make sure that I didn't get poisoned. And when I felt confident from YouTube University videos, we got to work. Cashew fruit, we're gonna open it. You have to be very careful to take this out without breaking it. Should be good. So this, if you opened it, it would be very poisonous and you get very itchy. But this is another story, okay? You can actually eat the fruit inside. It smells like gasoline. It's not appetizing at all, but I'm gonna try it. I'm a little scared about this part, so I'm gonna cut that part off to make sure that we don't get any of the poisonous part. But we didn't, because you can see that it's fully closed. Oh, look at that. Oh. It smells like a fart. I'm a little nervous to try this, but I saw a YouTube video of a father and his three-year-old son eating it, so if a three-year-old is allowed to eat it, then I am too. That is so cool. Stringy, but apparently the juice is good dries your tongue out. I'm scared. <laughs> Bottoms up. The juice is really good, but the fruit is really weird. Right when you put it on your tongue, it dries the whole tongue out immediately, but then it goes away. And then you're left with this stringy part. It's like the forbidden mango. I kind of want to squeeze the juice out. Mmm, that is so weird. It's really weird. <laughs> it smells like gasoline. It tastes like a forbidden orange juice and it makes your tongue feel numb. It tastes like medicine or something. I feel like this could cure your sickness or something. <laughs> Listen, I've always wanted to try this fruit. I had no idea that it was gonna smell like gasoline, but it tastes like a orange, a numbing orange juice. It's really good, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> I definitely thought that it would taste a lot different than what it tastes like. I feel honored that I got to try cashew fruit. That's it. And you know what? I was pleasantly surprised at how delicious this tasted. I really didn't like the numbness, but the taste of the juice was really good. And if it was mixed with other fruit juices, it would be really, really good. So for now, we wait. I hope that you're just as excited as I am to learn about how cashews grow at the bottom of a fruit that smells entirely like gasoline. And until you roast it, it contains a poison also found in poison ivy, but you can grow it without removing the outer shell husk. Just don't forget on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants that fruit. Thank you so much for watching. It would mean the world to me if you didn't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. I will literally climb the trees. <laughs>